Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashtray and I'm coming to you with a Target Beauty Box haul. And I wanted to show you guys this, but I want to first tell you this is not sponsored. I actually purchased this online and I just received it. So I'm going to just jump right in and show you what was in the beauty box. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, there's a card that says fall right in, as in <laughs> fall the season. That's cute. I get it. Okay. It starts off by saying must-haves, can't live without obsessions. Yeah, it sounds like me on everything. But, um, let me see, turn it around, and oh, there's a list of stuff that is packed in the box. And there's also a coupon, $3 off a $15 purchase or more. It expires in October, so you have some time to use it. Hopefully I'll remember. And let's just dive right in. Okay, green tissue, paper, I'm gonna open up, and I'm gonna go for the lip product first, because it said when you order it, it was a nude. This doesn't really look like nude, but it is Rimmel, and I like Rimmel products. Let me just put this against the green. Maybe it'll show better. Um, okay, this doesn't look like a nude. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look... What is this? Okay, number 200. And it's called It's a Keeper. Number 200. Hmm. Well, this points that it's not a nude. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it goes on smooth. It is a nice color. Um, kind of feel like I have this color in other brands. I probably would not have chosen it. I had my heart set on the nude, but I like Rimmel, and I'm sure I can put this to good use, maybe layer it with other things, change it up a bit. Again, this is called It's a Keeper, and um, I guess it's a keeper. I would have preferred the nude, but all right, going on. Let's see what else I'm going to choose to show you guys now. Oh, the mascara. I've never tried Maybelline mascara, if you could believe that. But this is called the Fallsies Push-Up Dram Drama Mascara. Ah, and it's got a nice push-up cup brush. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I can't wait to try this. I tend to like mascaras that are um, waterproof. This is not. This is in very black. I don't see that it says waterproof anywhere, but I'm going to give it a shot. Next product is this coconut milk conditioner. I've seen this like tons of times in different places. This one, oh my God, this smells so good. I've never smelled it before. It smells like coconut. Um, and I see that it does actually have coconut oil in it. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Yeah. Next thing you guys want to show you from the box is the SW Basics Organic Lip Balm. It's a citrus lip balm. I don't know why I'm always a bit weary about organic products. This one has five ingredients, cocoa butter, coconut oil, beeswax, and lemon and orange essential oils. Moving on to the next, uh, there is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pronounce this right, Jojoba, and it's a conditioner, hair conditioner, and I'm always looking for something that's gonna like strengthen hair or just moisturize it, um, especially in the cold winters in New York. So I'm looking forward to try that. The next product is Biore. Now I've used Biore strips um, a lot, so I don't know how this works. I think it's so interesting that it says don't be dirty on it. I think that's hilarious. Um, that's what the back looks like. Um, it's a baking soda pore cleanser. It's supposed to penetrate pores and gently exfoliate. Again, don't be dirty. It just makes me laugh that they put that on this. But it's a small, it's only one ounce, so, you know. Then the last thing that's in this box is, I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right, lineage, lineage, I don't know. I'm the worst pronouncer in the world. Um, let's just open this up. It is a water bank moisture cream. Lineage, lineage. I'm going to, oh God, I'm going to keep trying that all day. Um... Yeah, let me just open it up and show you guys. Well, there's a lot of product here for the little sample that it is. I mean, it's not that small, small, but it's small. Mm, okay, it's kind of oily. I'm not sure how I feel about this for daytime. Um, you'll definitely be shiny and sweaty looking, I think, with this. Let's see if we give it like a few seconds. Maybe it'll penetrate in. If I just keep like putting it in. I don't know. Lanyage. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a little bit oily. I, you know what? 
it's definitely not something I would probably use on the daytime. Maybe at night, maybe like on the weekend in the house, but I'm going to give it a try, see how it goes. Again, you know, a little too oily, but it smells very perfumey. So if you don't like, like strong smells in your creams, this might not be for you. I'm actually very surprised for a face product that it would have so much of a scent. Overall, you guys, you get seven products, but I'm most disappointed in the lipstick. I was expecting to see Naughty Nude, and again, what I got was It's a Keeper. Um, when it clearly says here Naughty Nude, and I have a feeling that's probably the reason I even went for this box anyway. I would rate this six out of 10, and only because of the disappointment of not getting the, the nude color. For 10 bucks online, and that includes like the delivery too, altogether it's 10 bucks. Of course you have to add tax too. I'm not sure how that compares to other beauty boxes. I kind of enjoyed this, a little disappointed with the lipstick. Um, but I don't know, let me know if you guys ordered it, what you think of it. Hope you enjoyed this, thumbs up if you did. Love to hear from you, nothing but love for you guys. Bye.